Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me for a task that I'm not looking forward to every single year but the reward is always worth it and that is my wardrobe switch over. In case you can tell my wardrobe is a teeny tiny which means I always just keep half of my closet in there so I always switch over from spring summer to autumn winter and vice versa throughout the year which just makes everything so much more easy for me and even if you do not have as many clothes as me I still recommend doing it because it just declutters your mind when in the morning you really only see the pieces that are potential pieces for the day and not just you know everything that you own so I would always recommend doing that my task for today is going to be taking out all of my spring summer clothes which you see pile up there I go through them see if there's anything I want to get rid of or give to charity or sell on Vinted I will of course show these things to you so that I'm motivated to declutter but also I will need your help deciding on some of the pieces because at the end I always just end up basically putting everything into a maybe pile and then by the next year I do not even remember what was my maybe pile because I almost end up liking everything again which you know is really not a good trade if you do want a good ruthless declutter so I definitely need, need your help for that. If you're new to my channel today I am Anna and I post fashion styling videos every single week on my channel so if you don't want to miss any of my uploads then definitely make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and make sure to turn on the notification bell and if you want to see more of my day-to-day -day life, then definitely also make sure to follow me on Instagram. Enough of that, let's talk about my problems right here. So, as you can see, I have the narrow pack system and last year I installed the rail, which first of all makes it possible for me to hang up things. And then I have that one front facing rail down there, which is a pain. It is all right for spring summer because there are just a few like silk blouses that I didn't want to crease um, hanging up there. It's not that much. I can easily look through it, but it's kind of a waste of space. Um, so what I did this year is I'm going to take the demantling of my wardrobe even further and I ordered this little thing which is from Amazon. Now you can get this for like any wardrobe that you want to get an extra rail in and what this is is basically it's you know just a rail and you can extend it to the length that you like and it also comes you know with wires that you can um, alter make them as long as you want them I altered mine to the length that I want mine to be and then you can just hang them on top of the upper rail to get an additional extra rail in your closet so it's it's great for basically anything um, if you do, don't want to have a full-on permanent rail and the reason why I don't want that is because I do need the length of a full-on rail for that side where all of my dresses are but then I also have a lot of skirts and tops that I want to hang and this way I can fit both um, systems like one with two rails and one with just one rail for the dresses inside one packs so that is the reason why I got this I'm going to leave that link down below and I'm going to start out just by taking out everything that is currently in my closet and start packing that away in packing cubes. I've got a pile of packing cubes over here um, where I have all of my autumn winter bits in. So I'm going to empty one and start, you know, switching things over. And in the process of that, I will go through all of the things that I do want to sell or give away. So yeah, let's start this task and I'm really not looking forward to it. So I hope this just goes by very quick. Okay, so I'm going to start just by going through this pack and cube because these are all the things that last year I cleared out and say I'm going to have a look at the beginning of this season and see if I do want to sell them. So the first thing that pops up right here is this cute little pink crop top with these like gorgeous little buttons that was from Revolve and I remember when I got this I was so excited and then I never ended up wearing it basically because I thought it had to be paired with a black mini skirt and I didn't really work with anything else and I didn't own one back then and also the pink is just a bit too like corally it's not the perfect shade of pink which a results in me being two minds about it because on the one hand I do want to try it with my new black mini skirt on the other hand the shade of pink still isn't perfect and I doubt it will be this year but I'm going to try it on with my new skirt and see if I like it or not so just for now guys it's another maybe maybe pile okay um, I've got this top and I'm pretty sure I've already put this on my vintage if not I should definitely do that 
um, because they're, I don't think I'm ever gonna wear this again. Although I do love this top and I think it's pretty, it's just a pain to wear around the armpit. So I think this should go into my vintage pile. And for that, I'm gonna open up something different. Okay, so I've got this Ikea bag here. I'm gonna put that down there so that everything that I wanna pop on vintage can just go in here and then I will have to photograph that at a later point. Then I've got this dress, which I think definitely is gonna go on vintage. I do really like it. I do think it's beautiful. Um, it's quite warm and cozy and actually I love it, but it just takes up so much room in my wardrobe. And I know that's a ridiculous reason to get rid of something, but I just, I can't, I can't really deal with it. I've got another jumper dress that I think I might prefer. Um, so I do think this could go into my vintage pile. I've got this jumper, which to be honest, I really like. I think I'm gonna give this to my mom because I know she loves it. And I've got a very similar one that I've just recently ordered, which is gonna hopefully arrive in a couple of days time. So I'm going to give that to her. Next up, we've got this skirt, which I've cleared out quite a few times, um, I think, and then never really got the heart to sell it because I do love it. Um, and you know what guys, I think I actually might pop this on again and see if it fits now because I do think I lost a bit of weight so it might fit me better now. So I'm gonna try it on before selling it. Um, then we've got this top which is like a short sleeved roll neck top from um, Zara. And actually this is kind of surprising because I feel like these are the things that you think I live in and that I wear on an every single day basis. But the truth is, I never ever wore this. When I do feel like a roll neck, I kind of want it to be long sleeve. I never really wear this. And also it just really shows when you're sweating. So this is gonna go. I've got this very cute little um, faux leather pleated skirt. And I got this at the end of last season. And then I never ended up wearing it because I just felt that, you know, it was a bit too much. It wasn't that classy. It was more kind of like trendy and I'm trying to be more sustainable with the things that I buy and I feel like this just didn't fit into it. Although it is a lovely skirt, but I just don't really see myself ever reaching for this when I get dressed in the morning. So I think this goes into the selling pile. Um, these pink trousers from Mango, I think they're, they're gonna go, definitely. Yes, I have nicer ones now and these can go. Um, this I already uploaded on my Vinted. No one ever bought it. I don't know why because it's the cutest top with like the pearls and the pink. It's just I'm a bit over it. It had its moment with me so that can go. On the other hand, I somehow cleared out this jumper and I know I've got a lot of jumpers and I know I'll have a mental breakdown later when I open my jumpers and my jumper drawer and I have to fit everything in. But for now, I don't think I really do want to get rid of it because I do think it's a nice jumper just, you know, to wear when I work from home or when I get to the gym um, and I get dressed later on and then, you know, just at home chilling on the couch. For that, it would actually be the perfect jumper. So for that reason, I think I'm just going to hold on to it a bit longer. This top again, oh, this is haunting me. I do like it. It's just that I do not love it. And it kind of had its time with me, but I think my mom is actually gonna really like that. So I'm gonna see if her or my sister want it because I don't really wanna give it away because it has sentimental value. And then this dress, I really can't remember putting this into a maybe pile because I love this dress. This is one of my favorite like autumn winter party occasion dresses, you know, um, when you want to go out for nice drinks or something. This is definitely a dress that I wear, so I do not know why I ever put this in there. Um, I do love it. It must have been a mistake or something, or I was really in a clear on whims. Um, but yeah, this is definitely staying. Um, this top, I remember I got this from H&M a few years ago, but I do think I'm just gonna sell it because I don't really see myself wearing it anymore. Although I do love the print, I kind of really love the style of it, but it's just, I've got so much nicer things that I know I will always prefer to wear. So I think this could go. Same goes for this little um, jumper. I think I already uploaded this on my vintage as well. If not, I definitely have to. Um, next up, I've got this like blue and white striped shirt. Um, this is definitely gonna go. I got the the cottony one from Naked Now and that's just a lot nicer. It's really slim fit and it's just not really my style. So it goes. Oh my God, this blouse. I love this blouse. I remember I didn't, 
I remember I didn't wear this last year or the year before that. I think I was kind of over it. But I don't think I ever want to sell this. I do really like it. I definitely want to, like, I don't, I don't want to give this away. Um, ooh, this top. Okay. Okay, now I remember a few things. So I've got this red jumper dress, um, which is kind of like a burgundy. It's from a uh, Hollister. I actually really like this, but it's just that I didn't ever choose to wear it last year. And again, I've got so much nicer things that I know I'll prefer. Um, so yeah, I definitely think this could go into my um, vintage pile. And then I've got this as a top. And I remember I didn't even pick this up last year. But do I really want to give it away? Because I know red is going to be the color of the season. And, you know, it is nice for like Christmas time. So maybe I'm just going to hold on to it and see if I wear this. And then there's like another sports bra in here that I'm not going to wear anymore. This top can definitely go. Oh, and then I've also got this suit, which was from Mango. And I, yeah, I've never really worn this one. So this could definitely go. I think people will love this, especially in the festive season or, you know, for autumn, winter. It is nice. Um, it's just not really my, my kind of thing anymore. So this goes away as well, which leaves me with a pretty much empty packing cube. I'm just going to put this in here right now. Okay. So this leaves me with a pretty empty packing cube, which is perfect to start filling up and putting things in here. Okay, so a lot of progress has been made. I've packed everything away into packing cubes. I'll show you a little tour of what it looks like right now. But basically the rail is almost empty. There are a few things that I've just kept um, because they're trans-seasonal and they stay in my wardrobe no matter what season or because I've just got them new. For example, these like Tweety bits up there. I've just recently got them. So they're already autumn winter stuff, but I um, yeah already had them in my closet. So that's so much of that. The top drawer pretty much hasn't changed. Um, I've pulled out a few things that are quite summery, um, like little sweater vests and things um, that I wore in spring that I just still had in here. So I popped these out. The rest are just some like basic knits that I kept in here. The second drawer is quite empty, which has all my tops. I'm going to see how many tops I have actually in my... Um, autumn winter wardrobe maybe i can lose one drawer and therefore have more hanging space we'll see um or maybe i will need two drawers for jumpers because they take up so much room the next drawer i usually just keep all of my trousers and i packed almost all of them away because i have a lot of linen trousers and like silky lightweight trousers that are quite summery but i have got some new in bits that are more autumn winter appropriate so those are going to um, move in here and then underneath is my loungewear drawer, um, which doesn't really have much in it right now um, because I packed away all of the t-shirts and like, cotton shirts that I sometimes wear at home. And I know I have some very cute pajamas and like um, chunky knits that I love to wear at home. So those are going to go in that drawer. And then the last drawer didn't really change at all because that, that's my uh, workout wear and pajamas. And I do wear my workout my workout clothes are quite trans seasonal as well as my pajamas i wear them all year round i've got some more wintry pajamas that i'll add um but for now i think it's still warm enough especially living in the loft that i live in 
that I can wear my short pyjamas. So yeah, so I've pulled out a few of the autumn winter bits already to um, clean up the, the storage bins and there are a few more things that I have decided to sell on Vinted. So I thought I'd just quickly show you what I decluttered. So first up is this um, skirt, which is like a midi skirt from Rehoras. It has this gorgeous um, like fruit print and I actually was quite excited about this when I got this or when I ordered it, but I have to say the quality of this, like it's all right when you look at it, but the fabric just doesn't feel as nice and I don't really see myself reaching for it. I do have another fruit print set that I never really ever wear and I kind of like the idea of it more than I actually wear it. So I think this is good to go. Next up a pair of like white trousers. These are kind of a paperback style from Zara. They just feel a bit dated. And since I've been getting so much into like tailored trousers, I just don't really feel the need to hold on to these anymore. I feel like the paper bag isn't really my kind of style and I just much more prefer like the ones with the front pleat. I've got beautiful of that, um, beautiful ones from that. So no need to hold on to these. Then I've got two jeans. These are straight leg um, basic jeans from Naked and it's like um, taupey color or like creamy color and then a dark denim blue. Both of these I'm going to sell just because they don't feel right on me. Whenever I put them on, I feel like they look a bit too masculine. And I know that style is quite on trend, but it's not really mine. I found some at Mango that I think I just prefer a blue one and a cream one. So there's no need for me to hold on to these. So these are definitely going to go, although they're quite brand new because they still sell them and I have never really worn them. I've had them on for like two or three times. So yeah, they're still in perfect condition, but yeah, I just don't wear them and I think someone else will wear them a lot more. Then I've got this jumper dress from Zara. It's like a cute little basic staple um, and I do like it. I just don't love it and I've just got a new jumper dress from Naked that, yeah, I just prefer and I don't really see the point in having that many jumper dresses because the truth is I don't end up wearing all of them. Um, next up is this tweed jacket from Rehoras. I do really like this one. Mara has a matching one and I've just got so many good memories of this when I wore this last year in London, but I've just ordered another tweed jacket, a white one, and I think it's just too similar to have two tweed jackets and also I've already got this like one from um, Revivo that's more like an off-white and I kept both because I kept saying I need a white one and I need a cream one but the truth is I was never a huge fan of the buttons. I thought about um, switching these but yeah I think when my new jacket arrives I will see and put it to the test again but I think it's probably gonna go. Um, this top over here from Chicwish I got this last year. I do like it but the quality of this just isn't there um, because I like my iron burned it. So this is definitely going out the door. Um, and yeah, I'll put that away. Next up, I've got this sleeveless top, which, oops, this sleeveless top, which is from uh, Stradivarius. I do actually like it. It's a beautiful maroon color. I just don't wear it. And I think if I wear something like this, I'm much more drawn um, to wearing my new Abercrombie bodysuit. And both of them are just too similar to keep both. So that's going to go away. Also, I cleared out this little top, which is from Naked. It's kind of these like corset style tops. Um, and I know they're quite on trend. I always thought I could pull these off and try them on. But the truth is I ordered this and I didn't even bother trying it on. I was like, yeah, I'll pop it on when, you know, I want to go out to a bar. I just don't go out to bars. It's not something that I do. And if I do, I wear something else and not this. So yeah, this goes out the door now. And then also this top from Chicwish. It's very pretty. It's like a very simple like little crop top. It's not too cropped. Um, it has a zip at the back and you can tie this into like a cute little bow. But again, I've never worn this. I don't even know why. I have so many white tops and to be fair, guys, um, sometimes I get things and because I do get sent so many things and I have so many white tops, I just stick to the ones that I love the most. And I like to show you alternatives because obviously not everything that I own is still in stock uh, because there are a few things that I've loved for years and forever. So that's why I always like to try out the new things. But when it comes to my day to day dressing, I will always stick to my favorites. So yeah, that's why I have so many tops and uh, not enough time to wear everything. And this blouse I can definitely go now. I've held on to it, kept thinking I would wear it with some cute jeans. But again, I don't wear jeans and 
it is just like I keep these things for a different version of me that I think somewhere exists but it, the truth is it doesn't so it goes. Um, again a pair of paperback shorts same with um, the long ones these will just go the quality of these isn't as nice as all of my other shorts and especially now having seen how many bottoms I have for spring summer I don't need any that I don't completely love so out they go and then I've just got two more dresses which I'm a bit torn about so this one I recently got and I do really like it I love the look of it but there's just something about it that is putting me off so it's this very nice little midi dress and it has these um, like toy toy shell buttons going down it is super pretty but to be fair I don't think the quality like the fabric of this is just very polyester -y and I think it's just not a kind of fabric that I would choose if it was that warm so yeah and also I think the top Honestly, it doesn't look that flattering. It kind of gives me like 50s house vibes kind of style. So um, yeah, I think it could go. And then I've got this dress, which honestly I really like. It's from Zara. It's this like little broidery shirt dress with a skater skirt. And I've changed the buttons um, to these like little pearly flowers. I think it's so pretty. But to be fair, it's very similar to the um, flossy Malibu dress that I got during summer. And I just wore that so, so much. And I haven't actually reached for this. But because I upcycled this, I am really attached to it. But yeah, I'll just pop it away for now because I'm not going to sell these spring summer things right now. I'm going to wait till the next season. So I'm going to pop all of that into the Ikea bin. And then I will start to um, put in the new rail and dismantle the old rail that is currently here and start filling up um, my autumn winter wardrobe. <laughs> Isn't that satisfying? So I've um, installed this additional rail, which makes that pretty easy for me. And I've got some tweed jackets on top right here. I'm still debating on what to actually put on the upper half because thing is, as you can see, I needed to like uh, roll up the sleeves so that, you know, they don't hang over the skirts and I can still see them. Any jumpers I think will hang themselves out but if I put jumpers in here they just take up so much room because obviously if you fold them they get even bulkier. And then I also have this space which is for dresses. I don't think I have that many autumn winter dresses so this should actually be fine because in case you can tell I prefer to wear skirts and shorts in autumn winter. So that should be fine. And then I've got two like then I've got this drawer which could be for tops, but I don't even have that many tops. I've got some pussy bow blouses, mainly to wear underneath jumpers, but it's really not that many because most of my tops are knits, which are going to be the hardest part. And then the trousers, I think won't be a problem. Loungewear is going to be quite a thing because I love my cozy knits and they do take up so much room. But yeah, I've got loads of like uh, hangers piled up right here, loads of new things over there. And a full laundry basket full of things that I've bought this like whole season. I don't know, there were just so many good things this time and I feel like I made some really good choices so I'm happy with that. Um, but yeah, what I'm gonna do is now coming the hardest part, I need to do this strategic thinking of where to place things, where to hang them, how to curate them so that it makes the most sense and use out of the space. So yeah, I hate that part, but it's always quite satisfying in the end when everything hangs. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. Wish me luck. I'll pop you on another hyperlapse um, because I've got another storage bin to open to see what's in there. And I'm afraid it's going to be a lot of knits. But yeah, we'll see how we get going.
Okay, so I managed to pretty much put all of my things into the closet and I decided to go for two options. So you do have to help me decide on how to organize everything because I find it quite overwhelming and it's a long thought process. So I'm gonna run you through what I did right here and then we'll talk about whether it makes sense or not. So down there are all of my skirts, which I think is not negotiable because yeah, I need a half rail for that. So that's that. Then up there, I've got my tweed jackets and like some cute little tops um, with like bows or like rhinestones or like, you know, anything that's a bit, a bit more <laughs> um, or anything that I kind of want to have out on display. Then on the side over there, there are pretty much just dresses and one blazer, like one long blazer. It's the only one that I have. I think that works because I've got you know, the wide to dark transition. There are a few like breaking points in here, which really annoy me. So for one being um, like my, my New Year's Eve dress, which is like pink and glittery, this blue dress, and then also this like tweed play suit from Zara, because they kind of break the neutrals here. Um, so I'm trying to, you know, conceal them a bit. But yeah, that is um, what that currently looks like. And then here, you know, just some like cardigans, some cute little tops and my tweed jackets. And then on the first row, I do have all of my tops and blouses. Now these are more like slim fitted knits that I kind of use for layering or, you know, just the ones that aren't full on jumpers. And then I've got all of my blouses folded. Now this is the part whether I question if that makes sense or not, because my blouses crease are much more likely than my dresses. So my thought of this was hanging my blouses up instead of my dresses and then folding my dresses because most of them are like tweed dresses or knitted dresses. So honestly, they won't crease. And also it's better for them to, especially jumper dresses, not to hang them just because um, they can hang themselves out. So I'm debating whether or not to switch that around and just put all of my blouses here, which are basically just all whites and creams, which again will make this much more neutral. But then, you know, there's a lot of free space here. I could extend this rail for like future skirts and like uh, bottoms, but do I really need this? I don't know. So yeah, but that will be my thought process whether I should just fold my dresses and put them down here because I don't have as many autumn winter dresses and if I do, it's mostly like jumper dresses. So yeah, let me know um, what you think I should do about that because the blouses, I can't, you know, hang up the way I did right here because here I just had to pull in the sleeves to make everything look cropped so that it doesn't fall over each other. But I can't do that with every single blouse because you have both sleeves and they're more long. So I can't really tuck the bodice in and that's a bit of a pain because yeah, it's a bit exhausting trying to, you know, fit everything in there. So yeah, let me know if you think I should switch this over. If I have the energy, I might try it out and blend in like a little overlay of what the new scenario would look like. And then you have to tell me whether to go for option A, which is this, or B, which means dresses down and tops up. Um, then I have got my jumpers here and jumpers were another thing I was debating well or not to hang them because one thing I like about my autumn winter wardrobe is that it is so neutral and just so calming to see when you've just got whites, camels, browns and that's it. And I would really love to hang these up but to be fair you can see them pretty well when they're folded down and it's also better for them so I have them down here although they take up a lot of room and I was thinking about whether to hang all of the jumpers and hopefully leave out one drawer so I have a bit more space, can hang this a bit lower, don't have to crop everything. But yeah, I didn't really feel like doing that right now because if it doesn't fit, then I have to remove everything and do everything vice versa and I don't feel like doing that. And then underneath, I've just got all of my trousers um, and then again, uh, loungewear, which you've seen already and then all of my uh, gym like workout clothes and pajamas. So yeah, that is my wardrobe tour uh, updated for um, autumn 2023. Now, I do still have to get a full laundry basket of new things in. I haven't done that yet because I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Most of them as trousers and that drawer is completely empty and like a few tweed jackets and like these cute Massimo Dutti cardigans, which would fit in perfectly in this section. So that would work. The only reason why I haven't done that yet is because um, I'm planning on shooting something where I really capsulated these things and I know I can create so many new in outfits with that and it's easier to 
uh, film content and post like content with these things because they're easier for you to shop and I don't tend to do it with the things that I already own. So that's why they are still in a laundry basket. But in the weekend when I have finished my shoot, they will also come in here and then the closet is going to be fully finished. But yeah, that is the status right now. Let me know what you think. I really need your help with decisions. Um, I also wanted to say I've been quite good with my clearing out process. There's a huge IKEA um, bag down there. Okay, so here's the IKEA um, bag I've been talking about and there are a few more things that I've popped in here. So first of all this cute little um, camel colored kind of skater skirt. It was from Chicwish I think. It definitely has like shorts underneath so it's actually a skirt um, and it's beautiful. It's just like I have so many like camel things already and I don't need I just don't need it. It's it's a bit unnecessary. If I found this with pleats, I'd keep it, but I don't I don't need it. Um, it's very similar to the one I've got from Karen Millen. Then I've got this one, which I think is beautiful. It's just like chocolatey knitted skirt. But I don't know if you can see, but I feel like the buttons have tarnished, and that's only when they were laying in like the storage container. Um, maybe I'm gonna try and see if like I can polish them up again. I think it actually comes off but yeah that's the reason why I um, put it out because yeah that annoyed me but I think they're coming off so I'm gonna clean it and I think then it comes unvented. This blazer um, which is like this creamy little tweed blazer with the gold buttons I actually really like this but I don't really love this style of blazer anymore I'm more for like the crop jackets so I see, maybe I'm going to hold on to it until they come back in style because I do think they're coming back. It's just like not right now. So that's why I won't hold on to it. Then I've got this blazer, which is kind of like a beautiful little houndstooth. I do really like the color scheme of this one, but um, I do have this one over here, which is definitely like a darker color scheme, but the quality of this is much nicer. So I think I'd rather keep this. Also, this is part of a matching set, so. Do have a matching skirt for this one, which is why I think this one can go. Then I've got this very cute little cardigan. Again, this is so dreamy. Has these like little rhinestones and these like heart shaped buttons. It's very cute. Again, I've just got so many cardigans and this is just the one that I chose to get rid of because yeah, I don't have space for all of them. And you know, I do love everything, but some things I just love more or less. And then I also have this top which is this cute little velvet top with the pearl detail um, or the pearl color. I think it's so beautiful. It's perfect for like a Christmas party. It's just like I think I have other things that I would prefer to wear. So yeah, this could go as well. So yeah, I'm going to pop these thing as, uh, things in there as well once I photographed everything and then I will upload it onto my vintage. The reason why I have never shared my Vinted username is because it holds my last name. I'm gonna try to change that now and I'm gonna try to post it this time so that if you're interested in any of the pieces you can shop them. But yeah, so much to that. Um, yeah, for now I would say thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure to do this with you as always. And I am quite satisfied with how it looks in the back, but yeah. Um, so much to that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!